Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Hiram also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, for he has given King David a wise son, endowed with prudence and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord and a royal house for himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hiram also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, for he has given King David a wise son, endowed with prudence and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord and a royal house for himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. So in this Old Testament story, who is the son of David? Well, in second, the chapter, verse one of the same chapter, it says, then Solomon determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. So yes, in the story there, the physical story, it was King Solomon who was the one born to David that would build the house that David wanted to build. And uh, God gave him all the wisdom and knowledge necessary. Praise the Lord. But what does this story mean to us? Who is this son of David that we are re we relate to? Though that temple is built and destroyed and they're not here walking anymore or anything else. But there's another son of David. Matthew chapter 22, verses 41 and 42. When the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. These are the Pharisees. They understood the true son of David was going to be the Christ. In Luke chapter 1, verses 30 through 33, then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom. There will be no end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The son of David that we, we walk with is Jesus Christ himself. Back to our verse of the day here, a word of the day. Now, when we look at this and we think about the spiritual son of David, the one that we are king, blessed be the Lord God of Israel who made heaven and earth, for he has given King David a wise son. There is none wiser endowed with prudence and understanding who will build a temple for the lord and a royal house for himself praise the lord so that means as solomon made a physical temple jesus must be also building a spiritual temple praise the lord first up first peter chapter 2 verses 4 through 10 coming to him as to a living stone rejected indeed by men not only he, but us, but chosen by God and precious. You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by, be, by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they were also appointed. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his very own his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light who once were not a people but are now the people of god who have who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy amen praise the lord heavenly father we thank you lord for this wonderful word uh, the old testament is full of wonderful stories but they're also spiritual stories for us 
And we thank you, Lord, for considering us worthy of being st spiritual stones in the temple that you are building, Lord. You got brought forth a son of David, a wise son, endowed with prudence, prudence and understanding. And he is building that house and we are a part of it. We thank you for choosing us to be a part of it. We thank you for this wonderful, wise son who is our king. And we thank you for everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.